welcome to day one of the new year, new money vibes mindset reset. This is going to be an absolutely incredible, exciting, high vibe five day masterclass where we are going to go live each and every single day. Let me just comment some people in here real quick so that we can get everybody on board, everyone that needs to be here for sure, for sure. Um, let me just put some people here in the comments. Do, do, do. So when you hop on, say hi and let me know why you were excited to be on this, this journey here today. Why are you super pumped to be in here? Um, what brought you in here? Have you ever been in one of my challenges before? And let me know the deal. Let me know where you're call where you're watching from, so I can say hi and all of the things. So let me see. Um, do do do. Let me just comment real fast. Hello, Mary. Oh my goodness, so excited you're in here. So excited, so excited. So let me know what is your biggest takeaway that you were hoping to get from this challenge. Do you want to attract more wealth? Do you want to attract more money? Do you want to attract a relationship? Like what is it that you're hoping to gain from this specific training so that we can really kick it off, be in the excitement, be in the energy, be in all of the things. So I'm super pumped. Let me pull my um, phone up on here and see if we can get some comments in here it is not telling me all the comments i did see you mary so Hi. thank you so much for jumping in and saying hello i am so excited so lisa lisa bishop is hello from fort saskatch i always say that word wrong saskatchewan i hope i'm saying that right saskatchewan alberta canada hello hello all the way from canada that is so freaking exciting oh my gosh so we've got people from all over here. Um, Deb says, happy Monday money manifestation. Yes, yes, money manifestation. We are gonna manifest all of the things that you truly desire. I'm super excited. I was pulling myself up here on the screen so that I could see your guys' comments, but it looks like they are coming through. So let's celebrate and manifest and say, that's gotta be a win since the comments are popping up and I can see all of your beautiful, adorable faces. So. I want to jump in and just say, um, I'm so excited that you're all here, that you've all said yes to your most abundant, most wealthy life possible, because I truly believe that, oh, we've got Melissa Go Ray XOXO from Redmond, Oregon. Hey, girl. Hey, do, 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 do. So pumped you're here. So, you know, why is this important for us right now to reset our money vibes, to reset all of the things? Because, you know, there's no secret that over the past uh, 10 months of our lives, we have been living in a world of scarcity, if not longer. We have been living in a crazy time where, you know, all the things have been coming down. We've had fear. We've had scarcity. We've had lack. We've had loss. We've had a lot of things collectively as a global community that we've been dealing with over the past 10 months. So, you know, right now is the best time to jump in, to reset, to kick off 2021 in all of the things, all of the amazing things so we can press reset on our mindset. We can jumpstart. We can kick into gear. We can do all of those things to really start to create and to become the magnetic energy, you know, become the magnetic match, match for the cash, for the dream clients, for the next level in your business, for the next level in your life. You know, you start attracting the right relationships, the right people, all of those things. So can I get a heck yes? If you guys are ready to move forward, I want to hear heck yes, I'm all in. Val, I'm ready. I'm ready to push forward. I'm ready to go in. I am ready to do all of these things. So Mary says, Georgetown, Texas, looking for support, friendship, and networking with like-minded people. Excited to find a passion and how to turn that into a successful and rewarding career. Girl, you are in the right spot. Let me tell you, I was just in a meeting earlier today and I was telling them about how, you know, not even three years ago, I was in that place where I was in the career, I was in the corporate job, and I was like, you know what, making money doesn't really, like, it lights me up, but not really in the way that, like, truly being in my passion does, not really in the way that, like, truly being in the 
biggest, boldest, like most passionate, like amazing, purposeful, um, you know, using my gifts, my gifts and using my, um, just like what really lights me up and making money off that, like, holy crap, you are in the right place. This, it feels so amazing to be in this spot. So I have no doubt you can get there as well. Lisa says so much drama <laughs> since March, 2020. Yes. Oh my gosh. Can you believe it's been 10 freaking months that we've been in this? It's insane. Deb says I'm all in. Lisa says, heck yeah. Sarah says, there you are. Yes, girl. I think I saw you popping around a little bit. So I was hoping you would land here. I tried to, um, to tag you. Lisa or Mary says, yes, yes. Okay. So I want to let you guys know that over the next 20 to 30 minutes that we are here together, it is all about you. This is all about you. I am holding space for you to expand. I am holding space for you to take a quantum leap to calibrate to the energy that is the magnetic energy of money manifestation. If you are totally in on this, which it sounds like you are, then what I wanna walk you through is a real simple, easy process where you know whatever's gonna come up for you will come up. This is just evidence of what's happening in your current money blueprint. In your current money blueprint, what's going on is there's so many things below the surface that are feeding into our beliefs. There are so many things below the surface in our subconscious mind. You know, I talk about the um, reticular activating system in your brain. This is the part of your brain that is working kind of like behind the scenes, right? It's like the stage director. It's working behind the scenes and it's feeding you beliefs. It's feeding you thoughts. It's feeding you patterns in your mind. You're, so your subconscious mind is feeding your conscious mind things that you have learned in your lifetime or you've observed or things that you have, you know, maybe you had an experience with money or around money since you were like before the age of seven, right? Before the age of seven, these ideas and these thoughts and these beliefs are already being influenced in your mind. They're already being ingrained into your mind. And this can be something as crazy as, you know, when I did um, my Woman of Wealth and Worth program a couple years ago, I think it was like the second time I ran it. And I remember this woman was saying to me, she goes, Val, you know, the thing that I don't understand is that I have a good career. I make over six figures. My husband makes over six figures. But it seems like no matter what I do, like we can make more money. We can do more things like we, we're always in the red. You know, combined, this couple made $225,000 a year, and they were always in the red. <sighs> Anybody else ever feel that? Like you're spinning your wheels and you know, no matter what you do, no matter what you do, like you just can't seem to get out of that, that rat race. You can't seem to get out of that spinning. You can't seem to get off the treadmill, right? And so when we looked back at her, her subconscious beliefs, we did a very powerful exercise where we went back and come to find out what ended up coming up for her was this memory. This memory in her mind where she was probably like five or six years old and she was digging through her mom's purse, you know, looking for candy or whatever. And she came across her mom's checkbook. Remember those checkbooks? I don't know if anybody uses those today, but she came across her mom's checkbook. And she opened up the checkbook. And remember how those those checkbooks would have like the little ledgers where you would write, like I wrote this check and you would subtract or you got a, a check so you would deposit and you would have the little thing. And for some reason, whatever was going on, it could have been like her mom had a check coming tomorrow, but she wrote a check for the electric company. And for whatever reason, on that specific day when she was five or six years old, she opened up her mom's checkbook. And right there in the ledger, it said negative $15 negative $15. And again, in her five or six year old mind, she didn't know what that meant. She didn't know how to logically walk through it like we could today. Like, well, maybe her mom wrote a check, but there's going to be a deposit tomorrow. Or maybe her mom, you know, whatever it is, like, we don't know what the story is. But in her little five or six year old mind, she was so deeply shocked 
it created a memory that stuck with her, that stung in her subconscious mind, that pierced her memory so deeply that, you know, all of a sudden she was carrying around this idea that she always had to be in the negative. And this is something that through her conscious mind she would have never remembered. But we did a powerful technique in this program that we she was in, that I was running, um, in the Woman of Wealth and Worth program, we did a powerful technique where she was able to remember that memory. It came up in her subconscious mind because we traced back to the root what was really going on for her. And she was able to then pluck that memory from her conscious, like work on it in the adult logical mind, right? Like work through it in her logical brain. And she was able to completely take that memory from the root and instead create a new belief instead create a new belief. Lisa says she knows that feeling all too well. Sarah says, yep. Hello, Rhonda. Hello, my love. So how much or how many of you, you know, maybe if you have a money block or if you are recognizing that perhaps, just possibly, maybe there could be something in your subconscious beliefs there could be something in your memory. There could be something that's going on right now that is keeping you in this place where, you know, maybe you feel like you're spinning your wheels. Maybe you feel like for some reason you're just not getting the traction. You're not going all in. You're not, um, you're not seeing the money show up the way that you hope it would. And, you know, if you're like 100%, maybe not a hundred percent, but like 99% of the world, we have these, these beliefs or these thoughts around money that show up for us, that are literally blocking our ability to call in more, to manifest, to bring in more cash, to get to that next level in our business, to do whatever it is that we need to do. And if you're recognizing that maybe possibly that could be it, what if I told you that just like I did for this woman, I'm not going to say names, but this woman back, you know, this was like two years ago, we did the Woman of Wealth and Worth program. What if I told you that it could be that easy to identify those places in your subconscious where the roots have gone down so deeply and you may not even in your sub in your conscious mind, in your adult, in your logical mind, you may not even be able to recognize it right now. Like you might not even realize that it's there, but it might be causing some constraints. It might be causing some blocks and it might be there. What if I told you that you could extract it from the roots, completely take it away, and walk away with a stronger belief, a healthier mindset, and you know, completely go all in and start attracting those things right away? What if I told you that? You guys might be like, okay, Val, what kind of woo-woo, like crazy, wiki, you know, whatever stuff are you talking about here? But the thing is, like, this is science, right? Like, this is science. There's scientific studies that show in our brain we create these responses, we create these memories, we create these things. So, you know, it's much like if you were dating, right? Like, let's talk about, let's talk about dating for a minute. Um, happily married, but I've, I had a period of time where I dated a lot, right? And so if I was saying in my conscious mind, or if I was telling my girlfriends, like, I just want to attract the right guy, I want to, um, you know, I want all the good things, I want to have a, a guy with a job, I want to have a guy with, you know, a good career, he's got a good head on his shoulders, he has his own car, his own house, all these things, but yet... I had a subconscious belief in my mind, which you guys, this is 100% where I was at 10 years ago. If I had a subconscious belief in my mind that all men were pigs, that, you know, um, guys didn't really have the capacity to love, that all guys want is a bad girl, you know, whatever those stories are. If I said I wanted something, but was subconsciously believing that, you know, there's no such thing as Mr. Right, all the good ones are taken, da, 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 da. What ends up happening is I literally create a um, like a conflicting like pull, an energy, an internal conflict within myself, 
where I may want something with all my heart. I may want something. I may put it out there. I might say I want it. But then because of my subconscious beliefs, what's happening is I'm sabotaging. I'm subconsciously attracting and, and bringing in those guys that are going to prove my beliefs right every single time. So then I, I start, you know, calling in the guy that's going to cheat on me, which proves to me I was right. I start, you know, meeting guys that I think are great, but they're married. So I start proving myself that it's right. You know, whatever it is that you're believing and whatever it is that you're putting out there in the world, that energetic match, whatever it is that you're believing, you are going to attract it. Or what's going to happen is you think you want one thing, but you're self-sabotaging, right? Like you make more money and then all of a sudden more bills show up. You make more money and then all of a sudden you get a ticket, right? And then you have to come up with the cash. And, you know, there's this cycle we can get in because our subconscious beliefs are in conflict with our internal mind, with our, our conscious mind. So Lisa says, I'd say, sign me up. Girl, yes, yes, yes. I'm so excited to hear you say that because... We are going to walk through some very powerful techniques, some very powerful mindset tricks that are going to blow your mind. It is going to be amazing. It is going to be incredible. It is going to be all the things that you desire and more. So, um, you know, I never want to be the person that just like says, rah, rah, yeah, get stoked, get motivated, do the things, but then I don't actually give you the how, right? Like I don't want to be the person that gets you excited or tells you a little bit, but doesn't give you the how. So we're going to walk through very pow powerful processes over the next five days. This is going to be um, a very um, powerful masterclass where you're going to walk away going like, wow. And you know what? I would not be surprised if some of you, because this happens every single time I run a money mindset masterclass, some of you are going to start attracting those things. Some of you guys are going to have surprise checks show up. Some of you are going to get opportunities. Some of you are going to have light bulb moments where all of a sudden you get a download, you get the truth, you get an inspired action, you get something, and you guys are going to start sharing those in the group. And we're going to be celebrating each and every single day as these things come up. Because when we talk about, you know, like the magnetic energy, the vibrational energy, like I'm not talking about anything woo here, right? Like I'm not talking about like this woo, like aura type of thing, which, you know, if you believe in that, like I, great, you know, awesome. I don't really know a lot about that kind of stuff. But what I'm talking about here is the vibrational energy that we put out with our beliefs, the vibrational energy that we're putting out through what we believe is possible, Right. Because I know from experience that once we shift into this mindset, once we shift into this powerful space where we're not any longer, you know, in that masculine energy all the time, and I'm not talking about like feminine or female, male, female energy. What I'm talking about here is actually like the masculine energy of what a lot of high achieving women can get into. And that is the hustle, 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 do, 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 busy, 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 check the box, do this task, task, task orientated, right? Which is amazing in certain points of your business, right? Like if you're in strategy, if you are in, um, you know, a lot of things like it, it's great to be in the masculine energy, you know, like I operate in a lot of masculine energy. I also shift into the feminine energy. And what I mean by that is the feminine energy is the, um, you know, the knowing, the trusting, the having faith that this or something better will come through. When you're in the, fem the feminine energy, you're in like the receiving energy. You're in the energy of knowing. You're in the energy of trusting that it will show up. You're in the energy in the space of, you know, like trusting that if you show up in your highest potential and you... Um, stand behind a product or a service that you truly believe in, knowing that you are in integrity, that you've put your whole heart into this, and then you get to trust that the right people will show up just like they did for this masterclass, right? Like I have no doubt in my mind that if you are here, then you are in 100% alignment. You are ready to really move forward. You are ready to take action. You are ready to go all in. You are ready to do anything it takes to see that next level come. I have no doubt in my mind that the people who signed up for this masterclass are in this space 
for a reason. There's no mistakes. And, you know, I truly believe in the analogy that once the student is ready, the teacher appears. So, you know, what, for those of you who don't know um, a lot about my story, I just want to share a little bit about, you know, why I, why my approach is a little bit different and a little bit unique than um, other, you know, money mindset people out there or other people out there who might be teaching similar processes. And, you know, from what I've experienced in, you know, really diving into this over the past, you know, gosh, I don't even know, 20 years or so, is that there is a lot of information out there on like visualizations, um, affirmations. There's a lot of, you know, you can do um, visual like vision boards, you can write your goals, you can write your dreams, your desires, you can do mirror work. There's a lot of very powerful tools out there. But what I truly found is that a lot of times they're only teaching half of it, right? Like they're teaching the visualization piece of it. They're teaching like the manifestation, like rub your crystals, write the goals, do the, do the vision board, manifest it. Or they're teaching, you know, like the mindset strategy. But what I really love to do is to combine all of those things, you know, the physical, the spiritual, the emotional, and really tie them in together. Because for me, you know, like if I sit around and do affirmations and all that, it's great. But it might not really bring in, it might not call in the things that I truly desire. I might get half of it, but I might not get all of it, right? I might not get the whole picture. Because for me, and what I've learned is more powerful with the many clients I've, I've taken through this process, is that we need to connect on such a emotional level we need to not just have the vision before us, but we also need to really like call it in emotionally, be so attached to it, and also, you know, be willing to look at those places where it's no longer serving us, looking at those places where it's so deeply rooted inside of us that, you know, we can't just like put a Band-Aid on it, right? Like an affirmation. We could do affirmations all day long until we're blue in the face, but if we still have that root, that belief, then time and time again, we're going to continue to just stumble over the same blocks. We're going to continue to self-sabotage. We're going to continue to feel like no matter what we do, right, the masculine energy, no matter what we do, 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 the more we 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 do, we're not calling in the dream clients. We're not calling in the cash. We're not calling in the opportunities. So for me, it's like this trifecta, right? Like we, we address all three sides of that. We do the physical, the spiritual, the emotional, like we tie it all in together. And this process, you know, regardless of how you learn the best, you um, will get something powerful from it by just being. By just being open, being teachable, and being willing to try this out, to try it on for size, and to, you know, really try a different approach. Because for me, you know, 10 years ago, um, I had such a broken money mindset. You know, like I had such a broken money mindset. And I remember, you know, like having um, just, you know, in my 20s, I was in insurance and I made a ton of money. Right, I made a ton of money. The town I was living in was very up and coming. There was a lot of people moving there. There was a lot of people um, who were, you know, moving in this area. I was selling insurance. I was making so much money, but because I had these deeply rooted beliefs that were still there below the surface, were still there below the surface. I was creating scenarios in my life where that cash would go away just as soon as it came up. Not only that, but I was constantly walking around in this state of being where I felt like a total and complete fraud. I literally felt like someone was going to knock on my door one day and be like, Katya, you're not worthy of this. Who are you to do this? You shouldn't live in this nice house. You're only 23 years old and you're a fraud anyway. I literally felt like I was not worthy of the money I had, nor was I worthy of the opportunities I was surrounded by. 
And, you know, like, I don't know if any of you guys are there or if you feel those feelings, but I'm just being honest and open about, you know, where I came from and how I got to where I'm at now, because these are the exact same tools I used to dig myself out of that, to get out of it in a, a very powerful way. And not only that, but to attract the abundance, to attract the husband, to attract the the business, to attract the lifestyle that I have today. So if I can go from literally, you know, 10 years ago, going from having, you know, six figures in my bank account to completely sabotaging it, creating scenarios, being in a hole, having and having like, you know, living in my car and then crawling out of that with like a 500 point credit score and credit card debt and other debts and all these things to, you know, healing that money story fixing what was broken. I'm not saying that there's anything broken in you, but I know that there were some broken pieces in my money mind story, in my money, my money story, my money blueprint. So, you know, like it is possible for you. I want to share that story with you to give you hope that if you've tried other things, if you've tried, you know, all of these things and it just, you're not understanding why it's not working, that one of those pieces might not have been addressed. So I just want to give you some hope in that that if you feel like you've been spinning your wheels or you feel like, you know, I'm, I'm praying for it. I'm, um, I'm doing this. I'm, you know, doing the affirmations. I'm doing the mirror, like whatever that is, that there is hope and that this will powerfully help you transform your money story. Lisa says, Oh, Sarah said, I'm off to finish work or get to work. Bye Sarah. Um, Lisa said, I hear you. I did the five by 55 manifestation for six months and three by 33 for the past six months. And all I got was a hand cramp from so much writing. Yes, girl, oh my gosh, you and me both. I tried so many of those techniques. I know I'm familiar with that one too. Um, I tried so many of those techniques and you know, like until I found the combination of, you know, diving into the subconscious mind and finding those places where it starts. Right, because we can address the pain today, but it's much like taking an aspirin when you have a gashed open wound, right? Or putting a band-aid over a wound or a broken bone and saying, Okay, it's fixed, you're good, like see you later. It's it's not gonna work, you know, long term. It's not gonna lurk, lurk, work long term because what happens is we're not addressing the root cause of it, right? Like what I like to do is like a holistic approach. Because I know that we are human beings. We are messy. We are fallible. <laughs> we have, you know, unique experiences. We have a unique past. We all have unique stories. Whether you grew up with privilege and prestige or if you grew up, you know, on um, welfare eating off, well, uh, off of food stamps. You know, like we all have different variations, everything in between. So, you know, what works for all of us is if we go in, we look at where we're at, we address the root cause, and then we have the courage and the strength to move forward, you know, to replace those thoughts, to replace those beliefs, and then powerfully stand in the truth where we get to manifest, not because what, we do, what we've done or a box we checked off or, you know, something we were able to do, but because we get to create that because we are powerful beings. And when we get to operate in the frequency of love and gratitude, that is the highest vibration that we have, right? So things like fear, lack, guilt, shame, those are the lowest frequencies we have, right? And so, you know, like that is what a lot of us carry around about money. A lot of us carry around a feeling of lack, like there's not enough. Or if I make the money, it's somehow taking away from someone else. Or if I ask for more, then it somehow means I'm not grateful for what, you know, the universe has provided or for what God has provided for me. Or, you know, if I am in fear that there isn't enough money, that there won't be enough to go around. If I'm in fear of the bill showing up, if I am in shame because I got myself into debt, or if I'm in shame because I've made poor money decisions, right? Like all of those things cause a low frequency around money. Money is just an energy 
It's just a thing that we give meaning to in the world. Think about that. Money in a way like isn't even real. We give it a meaning. But if we can show up in love where when we pay our bills, we're in so much gratitude. Because if I pay my cell phone bill, it means that I get to create. I get to show up here powerfully with you because my cell phone is giving me the space and the energy to show up here. I'm paying my light bill and I'm grateful because it gives me the opportunity to show up right here online. It gives me the opportunity to read books at night so that I can grow and expand my mind. It gives me the opportunity to learn and grow and connect with my clients and connect with my coach so that I can be in the growth mindset. Like when you're in that space where you're in so much gratitude and love and abundance, great things happen. The gate unleashes. Things open up for you, you expand, you grow, and you start to realize that the entire universe is so incredibly expansive that there are no limitations. There is no lack. There is no shortage of money. Yes, even during COVID, people are still buying. And when you operate from that space, the fear around who am I to do this? Who am I to show up in the world and teach what I'm teaching? Who am I to take a stand and be the person that I know I'm being called to be? Because what you realize is the world is so expansive. What you realize is that there's so much out there. There's so much opportunity. There's so much abundance. There's so many clients. There's so much money. There's so much cash. There's so much every single thing you could ever truly need in the world that in this moment you are taken care of. And in the next moment, there will be more. In the next moment, it's renewable. Like energy, love, expansion, service, money, all of these things are frequencies that are continually renewed in our entire world. It's just an energy. It's just a thing. It is a thing that is easy to grab onto once you understand. And that is the truth. That is the capital. That is the truth, you guys. So, you know, when we talk about energy, like, you know, what, or um, I'm sorry, money being energy, right? Like money being an energy. Think of it like water. Money is a lot like water. And if you study the science behind water, which I'm a huge nerd, I study a lot of things in my spare time. But if you study water, it is always here, right? Like there's the exact same amount of water right now today on earth, believe it or not, there's the same amount of water on earth as there was when the dinosaurs roamed the earth. There's the same amount of water on earth as there was when, you know, 50 years ago, one year ago, last week, but it's constantly in a cycle. It's constantly cycling throughout the world, cycling from different stages, different phases. So if you think about it like that, the energetic exchange of money is just like water. It is constantly cycling. You give, you receive. You give, you receive. You show up, you trust, you have faith, you receive. You give, you receive. It is a constant cycle that will always come back to you in the form of money, opportunity, client, whatever it is. Like It's expansive. And the other way that water is, money is like water is that water has no resistance right? Like water is a free moving, free spirit. It's a free thing. Like look at the ocean and you will, you, you know what I mean? If you've ever looked at the ocean and been like, wow, it's powerful. It's expansive. It is unlimited. It is always moving. It is a force. Money is like water in the way that water has no resistance on its own. The only way to give resistance to water is if it comes up against something. If it comes up against something like in a pool, the water's contained and there's resistance. There's a, there's a space. There's a certain space it can fill. If you put water into a glass, 
then it has resistance. There's only a certain amount of water that can be filled in the glass. There's only a certain amount of water that can be filled in a shot glass. There's even less water that can be filled in a thimble. So think of it right now as your mindset, your current mindset. It can be a thimble. It can be a shot glass. It can be a glass. It can be a bucket. It can be a pool. Or it can be the ocean. Water, money, has no resistance until it comes up against something. And for us, that something is our current situation, our current beliefs, our current mindsets, our current limitations, that is the resistance which we are dealing with when we talk about our money, our abundance, our cash flow. Is that making sense for you guys? Does that make sense? Do you have any questions about that? Let me see. Mary says, oh, I have to go pick up dinner for my parents. Can't wait to get back to continue replay. Thanks. Oh my gosh, Mary. I'll see you on the replay. Love you, girl. So when we talk about our money stories, we must start out, and for those of you who've been following my teachings for a while, you know I talk about the GPS system a lot, just because that's a great analogy for all of us. We are like a GPS system. If we know where we want to go, we can type in the destination. We can type in the destination, but first, we must know where we're starting from. We must know where we're starting from. So where are you at now? Where are you at now? And if you can take out your workbook, um, you can follow along. I didn't put this in the workbook, but I'm gonna ask you guys a couple of, of bonus questions here. So if you can write down right now or on a separate piece of paper, you know, where are you right now? And you know, for each one of us, that's gonna look different. What is your current income? That could be maybe you're on a fixed income, you know, maybe you have a steady income each month and you kind of know, maybe it's varying if you're in a business like mine where it can change each and every single day. I'm just putting up the, um, in case you don't have the workbook, go ahead and click on this link I just put up and you will go to the form and then it'll email you, will email you the workbook. So where are you at now? And I promise this is the only time we're gonna look at, you know, the past, the where are we at now? Because I would rather look at, okay, this is where we're at, so now what? Now what? You know, the difference, the powerful difference between like um, therapy or, you know, whatever, and how I do coaching is, you know, therapy, you're going to look back and you're going to go, oh, let's talk about it. Let's dive into it. Let's talk about the parents and how they influence, la, 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 la. I'm more interested in who are you today? This is where you're at, so now what? How do we powerfully move forward from where you're at today to the future? This is how I coach. This is the most beneficial way for me, for my clients that I've worked with. And you know what? We, you know, you have a past, things will come up, but I want to say, okay, look, this is where we're at. Now what? How do we powerfully move forward? Let's not sit and rehash that. Let's not go over and over and over and try and figure it out because you know what? We may never figure it out. I want to say, where are we at baseline and where are we going to? What are your visions? What are your dreams? What are, you what are your hopes? And let's help fill that gap. So write down, you know, where are you at now? And just notice what comes up for you when you, write, when you look at that number. What comes up for you? Do you instantly get in a space of feeling love, gratitude, abundance, or maybe something that comes up for you is a feeling of lack, scarcity? Is there shame around that number? Do you feel icky when you see that number? And you know, whatever comes up for you is what is, needs to come up. I want you to just allow that feeling allow it to happen because you know when we 
force more shame or more guilt or more, you know, feelings around a feeling that when we feel like we're wrong for feeling that or we feel bad about it, like you just, you know, what you resist, you persist. Napoleon Hill said that. And so when you write that, when you look at that number, I want you to just sit with it for a moment. Notice what comes up for you. And when you look at that number, I want you to just say in your mind or even say it out loud if you can, just say, I love you. This number is just information. This number is just feedback on where my mindset has led me thus far. This number does not define me. This number does not dictate who I will be in the future. I am grateful for this number. And I am also grateful to see the number that will increase. I am grateful. And I am ready to allow more. I am ready to allow more abundance, more expansion, more cash, more wealth, more love, more connection, more service, more time with my loved ones. And for that, I am truly grateful. <sighs> All right. How do you guys feel? Let me know that you are okay. Let me know that you're feeling good, that you're feeling grateful, that you're feeling gratitude. This is just the beginning. Just know that we're going to get into some very powerful stuff over the next couple days. Um, I left your homework for tonight a little bit light for a reason. Um, I don't want to just bombard you and flood you and then you're like, ah, I'm more confused and more, you know, whatever than I was before. So tonight what I'm going to have you do is there's two questions on day one. This is um, one is why did you decide to do this challenge now? What is it that came up for you or why now? Like why, what drew you to it? What made you decide that, yes, I'm going to do this. I'm all in. I want to work on my money mindset. I want to get stronger and, you know, more resilient with my money story. I want to, you know, complete my money story. I want to step into my abundance now. Why did you do this challenge? And so when you can get really solid on your why, it's going to help you. What we're going to do is we're going to be building over the next couple days. We're going to build on the foundation. So, you know, trust the process. If you are the type of person like I am, where I just want to go through and do the entire workbook and get it all, you know, be ahead of the class, then you get to practice trusting the process, right? Like <laughs> I'm preaching to the choir here, but trust the process because we're going to build on it. You know, we're going to build on these questions. We're going to build on these things and it's going to make sense to you in the end. Like it's going to make sense. And, um, you know, I'm the type of person, I just want to know why I want to know the whole picture. I want to know the story I want to know. Right. But I get to also, you know, when I'm in situations like this, I get to trust the process and trust myself that I can stay in the step I'm in, right? Like stay in the step I'm in. This is a great tool for if you're an entrepreneur, if you're a business leader, stay in the step you're in, right? I had a business coach a couple of years ago that ingrained that in me. It was quite the stretch, let me tell you. Oh my gosh. Um, but I always had to know how. So, you know, stay in the step you're in, trust the process. The question number two is what is the one thing you would like to change? And this could be, honestly, um, you know, if you are 
wanting to increase your bank account number, if you're wanting to increase your credit score, if you're wanting to um, save up money for a down payment on a house, do you want to stop spending all the money you make? Do you want to stop resisting cash? Do you want to stop self-sabotaging? Like, what is it that you're hoping to change when it comes to money? And, um, you know, I want to stretch you a little bit more that if even if you come up with like, okay, I want to make more money. Like, okay, so then you're out running and you find a dollar on the ground or you're out at Fred Meyer's and you find a dollar on the bill, then that's more money, right? But be a little more specific because um, clarity is what really helps you to manifest and call in those things. Because when you're so specific, like literally, you guys, I was going through my phone the other day and I was like, I got goosebumps, right? Because... um. I was looking at these pictures and in July of 2019, so not last year, but the year before, in July of 2019, my husband and I were out fishing in this, down in Sun River, a town that's probably like half an hour away from me now. Um, we were down fishing and we walked back up to our car. We were walking up to leave and I saw the car I wanted, right? Like I saw the car, every single thing, the trim, the year, everything that I wanted. And I was like, babe, take a picture of me next to this car. And he's like, that's kind of weird. Like, you're taking your picture next to some random car. And I said, no, because I want this on my vision board. I want to look at it and know because this is the car I want. I want this car and I want to look at it and see myself in it so I get comfortable with the car. And so we took this picture on July something of 2019 of the exact same car. And let me tell you guys, today without even consciously knowing it, without even consciously planning or making it happen, that exact same vehicle is sitting in my driveway right now. That exact same vehicle is sitting in my driveway. I wanted to upgrade my Lexus, and about six months ago, maybe six months, my husband and I were looking for a new vehicle. He wanted something completely different. I wanted to upgrade my Lexus because, come on, heated seats, leather, luxury, come on, it's, it's my car. And um, so, you know, I was looking through my pictures the other day and I'm like, oh my gosh, I stood in front of this exact same model, exact same trim, you know, everything. And I said, this will be my car. And so, you know, if you don't believe in this stuff, like you don't have to just trust the process and know that if you are very specific, if you know what you want, you are going to activate your reticular activating system in your brain to see the opportunities to find the exact same things. And so like, you don't even have to believe in this, right? Like it will work. It will happen. It will absolutely happen. It's kind of like, you know, speaking of vehicles, have you ever like gotten a new car? Like maybe you got a red um, Jeep Cherokee and then all of a sudden you're driving around and all you see is Jeep Cherokees and you're like, oh my gosh, there's so many of this car. I thought I was the only one that wanted this. And that's because your reticular activating system is now looking for similarities. It's now aware of it. So it's constantly looking for it, right? Does that make sense for you guys? Like you will literally activate something in your brain that is gonna start seeing the right opportunities. The right opportunities are gonna open up. You're gonna start hearing. You're gonna start being more aware. You're going to like see that the possibilities are out there. You're gonna see the abundance come in. We're gonna celebrate it like crazy when it comes in this week. You guys, like this week, I am not kidding you, it will happen this week. And I have so much faith in that because I know I have run a money mindset program three times a year for the past almost three years, and it has happened every single time. So I can't wait to celebrate with you guys. Um, Lisa says the key is, ju is just that, trust the process. Girl, yes, that is it, that used to be a stretch for me. At times it still is. I'm not gonna say I'm perfect on that, but I've definitely, you know, in 2020, in 2019, 2020, that was my big lesson for me. I was in a very, very intense um, leadership program that taught me to trust the process. And let me tell you, I kicked, I screamed, I fought, and then I surrendered. And um, so, you know, once we get to that surrender piece, it gets a lot easier. <laughs> so um, don't be like me. Don't resist, you know, because resistance is what keeps us stuck, right? Resistance is what keeps us stuck. So um, totally makes sense. Thank you so much, Lisa. I love you, love you. So 
go ahead, dive into the homework tonight, you know, really get clear and specific on what it is you want to change. Because if you just say something like, I want more money, or I want to create more money, or I want more money in my bank account, like that's great. But really take an extra five minutes to dive a little bit deeper. You know, tomorrow we're going to go really deep into what you want. And um, <laughs> it's going to be a very, very powerful, fun, amazing process that you're going to be like, whoa, okay, I didn't even know that that was there, but it's here. So um, start with the foundational piece. Real simple, real easy questions to answer, but spend a little extra time going a little bit deeper, challenging yourself to press in a little bit more and get specific about what it is that you want to change. You know, what is that outcome you want? What is it that you want to change? Because um, the more specific you can be, the more it's going to show up for you, the more it's going to show up in the way that you truly desire. So I love you guys so much. Pamela. Oh, hi, Pamela. Hi, love. I didn't know you were on. I'm so sorry. I didn't say hi. Uh, I'm focusing on a house on the beach within the next two years. Girl, it's so possible for you. So, so, so possible. And um, see it. Be with it. Be specific to the point where, you know, talk about what do you want your view to look like? Like, what do you want your view to be? When you look out, are you going to see the ocean? Or what town are you in? If you're open to that, great. But, you know, you can be as specific as you want in that. And, um, girl, I am believing that I can't wait to get the invite to come over when you have the house on the beach. We're going to go put our toes in the sand together. We're going to like celebrate and laugh and giggle. It's going to be great. So <laughs> I'm believing with you. I know it's possible. I know it's true. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Also, I would love for you to come and post in the group what your takeaways were or, you know, like Pamela did, share with all of us what is it you're believing in? What is it you're believing for so that we can be here to you know, believe with you to create extra power, to create community, to create the sisterhood that we have behind you. You have a strong, powerful team here behind you. You are, we're all in this together. And so, you know, share what your takeaways in the group. I would love to um, just be here with you and, and um, yeah, like, just let me know. Cause I want to, I want to follow along with you guys. I want to, you know, see you here and be here when all of these magical things start to happen for you. So Pamela says, I know what I want layout to be and my rooms are different themes. Girl, I love that. Oh my gosh. How fun. Yes. And see, that's the fun, playful energy that we get to be in, right? Like that's the fun, playful energy where we're like, it's going to be fun. I can visualize the rooms. I can visualize when I make this and when I have this money in my bank account, I'm going to take that trip to Disneyland with my family. I'm going to do all these things. You guys can probably hear my dog. That is so funny. He, my husband just got home. So my dog's like squeaking his little pig. He's squeaking his little pig in the background. So get in, you know, have fun with this. Let it be light because that's the one thing I want to encourage you with, especially if you are um, someone who is more like, you know, like, I don't want to make anybody feel bad by saying this because I'm this way too. Like I can get really serious about things and like get into it, but it gets to be fun. It gets to be light. It gets to be easy. We get to make that choice right now today. We get to choose that this is going to be fun. It's going to be light. It's going to be airy. We're going to be in the feminine energy. We're going to attract. We're going to have abundance. We're going to be all these things and we get to have fun. We get to dream again, right? Like we get to dream again. How powerful is that? So I cannot wait to see all of your guys' takeaways, what you're believing in, what you're hoping for, you know, why you join this group. So share your homework in the group if you would like to. I'd love to come behind, come beside you and support you, cheer you on, be that extra little push for you, be that in, in alignment with you. And I am so grateful that you showed up here today for day one. Super powerful. I love you guys so much and I will see you tomorrow. For day two, same time, same place. Let me know if you have any questions in the group. You can tag me and I will um, come and see your question. And also, um, yeah, share your takeaways. I can't wait to see what you come up with and what you create. I love you guys so much. Mwah. Bye.